service of CNC Worldwide. CNC Podcasts are a service of CNC News, and they're brought to you by the Greece Chamber of Commerce, providing more than 800 member companies with business solutions since 1984. Please pardon my cold, and I'm croaking along as well as I can. <laughs> Our next burst of Arctic air is here, arriving with a cold front that blew across the Rochester area like an express train Monday morning, bringing most communities a sudden inch or two of snow. Temperatures in the 30-degree range suddenly dropped into the teens. Strong winds caused near whiteout conditions for about an hour, right at the start of the morning commute, and it came so fast that plows couldn't keep up with it at first. There were at least 30 accidents reported to 911 in the three hours between 6 and 9 a.m. The National Weather Service has our entire region under a wind chill advisory. This is from 3 o'clock Tuesday morning to 11 o'clock Tuesday morning. Winds from the west at 20 to 30 miles per hour will drive the wind chill to 20 below zero, which is a risk for hypothermia and frostbite. A malfunction at Arcadia Middle School triggered a fire alarm and sent students at both Arcadia Middle School and the high school out into the parking lot and that cold weather in Greece at about 8.20 this morning, Monday morning. The Greece Central School District says students were out in the cold about 13 minutes before the problem was fixed and the kids could get back in. Five Eastman School of Music graduates won Grammys Sunday night. Four of them went to mastering engineer Bob Ludwig, including record and album of the year. Eastman School grads Maria Schneider, Martha Kluver, and Eric Dudley also won awards in the 56th annual Grammys. Earlier in the week, Eastman graduate Kent Knappenberger received the Recording Academy and Grammy Foundation's inaugural Music Educator Award and was recognized at the end of Sunday's program. A survey of upstate New York CEOs finds they've gotten their nerve back after a loss of confidence last year. Every January, the Siena Poll surveys the confidence of more than 650 chief executives from Buffalo to Albany. They represent corporations and nonprofits of all sizes. Averaging the Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, and Albany regions, CEOs expect upticks in both revenues and profitability this year over last. Director Don Levy says they believe the cash register will ring but not roar in 2014. According to the Siena Index, their confidence ranks 94.6 if you count 100 as the break-even point, where just as many people are optimistic as pessimistic. That's up eight points from last year. Two men are under arrest for Saturday's stabbing attacks at a party on North Street. One man was killed. Another is recovering at Strong Memorial Hospital after an argument turned into an attack. Bradford Clark and Shane Maldonado of Rochester were charged on Sunday with second-degree murder for stabbing Lee Probst to death. More charges against Clark and Maldonado are expected in the attack on the surviving victim, Hermes Almodovar of Rochester. Nobody was hurt, but a family of five was left homeless by a fire in Penfield on Sunday. Penfield Fire Chief Chris Ebmeyer says hot coals left in a plastic bucket near the garage might have set off that fire on Skyview Lane. The house was a complete loss, and the Red Cross is aiding the family with temporary housing. A Rochester man was shot in the back early Monday morning in a robbery on Hudson Avenue near the corner of Wilkins Street. Police say the victim was walking on Hudson when a man in a hoodie and a face mask came up, pointed a gun at him, and demanded whatever he had. The victim somehow got shot during the encounter. There is no arrest so far. And Rochester police are looking into the shooting of a 14-year-old boy who was wounded Sunday morning while walking on Brown Street on the southwest side. A teenager told them he was walking on Brown Street near Rite Aid when he heard a gunshot and was hit in the torso. He ran around the corner to 22 Essex Street where he called 911. He was taken to Strong. The injury has been called non-life-threatening and that is still under investigation. Police and Gates are investigating the body of a man found Saturday night at a motel near the airport. Gates police say the victim was a 58-year-old Rochester man. He was found in a room at the Motel 6 on Buell Road under what they say are suspicious circumstances. And that's all they're saying about it. They're waiting for a report from the Monroe County Medical Examiner on the cause of death, which will take some time. Next news podcast is whenever you click on one of our CNC news pages and catch one, and we post the updates as necessary. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.